Hello everyone, this is our third episode of Street Speak. I'm Sarah Anke. And I'm Aloysius. And today we're doing something really interesting. We are going to do tenses. So we're heading out to the streets to see if you can get it right. Oh, I have eaten that before. Wrong. Yeah. So this is the right one. Yeah. Because <laughs> no. I I have eaten means that it's completed. Right? You eat. You've already eaten it. Right? It's finished. The action is finished. Oh, so it's, okay. I have eaten there before. Okay. I have eaten there before. Eat is present tense, so you can't use it this way. Okay. Okay. All right. <laughs> okay. So I eat there before, and I have eaten there before. Okay. Very good. I have spoken to him last week. I spoke to him last week. So this will be our answer. Yes. I spoke to him last week. Any reason? <laughs> Just last week. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's uh, correct. I think it's correct. Oh, yeah. See, yeah, see who, see who correct. <laughs> oh. Okay, so our language expert, Aloysius. The first one is correct. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> Do you know why? Do you know why you're correct? So you say just now it's the tense, right? It's what? So it's already over. You explain, you explain all five. But you're right! <laughs> I yeah, yeah, yeah. I have spoken means completed already, so there's no need to say last you week. You can say, I have spoken to him. No. Okay. If you want to talk about last week, then it's, I spoke to him last week. Okay. I shall call you when dinner will be ready. I shall call you when dinner is ready, second one, correct. Okay, why is the second one right? This is the structure of the sentence, or is this correct? Or? <laughs> it makes good sense. <laughs> Logical. The second one? When, when dinner is ready? Because you do this act when dinner is ready. Do you know what tense it is? Present. Hey, wait. Future. Hey, wait. <laughs> Actually, I think this is correct. Top one, cause it's future tense. Yeah. Third one's great. Are you sure? Yeah. <laughs> your, your first you, answer You got it right. right. Why? 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 <laughs> Explain. Why? Yes, you're right, it's future tense, but you only have to situate it once. So, I shall call you is already future tense. Oh, yeah. The next one is ready. You don't have to say it twice. Okay. Oh. Yesterday, I go to school. Yesterday is past then, then when is also past then? I went to school. Yeah. This right. Okay, that's correct. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> My English is not so bad. <laughs> Have you had very good English teachers in your lives that... Yes. Let's do it. My school. St. Hilda's. Mr. K. Because <laughs> you taught us English well and you taught us life skills. So... After we graduated, we will carry it us for the rest of our lives. Oh, that's so sweet. Well, I was trying to study at private school. It's the Alex. Is he a good uh, teacher? Yes, very entertaining teacher. Uh, he's now a DJ at 98. Uh, DJ JK. Yeah, because he's fun, young, then make class exciting. Madam Sonia Yeo from my school. Uh, Tanju Tatung Secondary. Like, we were very na- naughty class, but she still taught us and... She uses perfect English even though she talks to us in a normal way. So, yeah. uh, Mr. Sandu, I learned good English. Uh, Michelle Sim. Uh, this is a teaching style, and in fact, they are just pretty. So, we all paid attention. Mr. Yeah. Um, H.I.J. Mrs. Go. You have a very good English teacher. Or is your mommy a very good English teacher for you? Yeah. yeah. And here's the tip of the day. Hi, your quick and dirty tip of the day is to learn how to use um, has, have and had to, f- to know which word, uh, to which forms of verb to use. So, you have this present, the past and the past participle. So, if you use a word like sing, the present is sing, the past is sang and the past participle is sung. Now, whenever you see has, have or had, you always use it with the past participle sung, never with the other two. So, that's your tip of the day. So the
about the whole thing.